All right, you guys. Uh, in this video, what I wanted to do is show you how you can share your project um, with uh, either clients or somebody in your company that doesn't necessarily have to have access to, uh, you know, scene or recap or any other uh, means of viewing the actual data. I have a really small project over here, five scans. Uh, this will apply obviously to anything. So besides doing the traditional export to RCP or RCS or any other formats uh, for all of your scans, what you can do is you can create the web share project. This web share project, uh, when being created, and these are settings that I'm not going to go through. It's just that you can uh, investigate which ones work better for you but these are my default settings that I typically do but so what this does is it creates a uh, web page of your actual project that um, every scene installation can provide and can create once um, these are created what you can do is you can then generate a local copy and a local page that you can share within your in uh, within, within your network infrastructure, for example, or as an attachment, it's still a big attachment. So this is still going to be a couple of gigabytes, but allows you to share it with anyone who uh, doesn't have access to the actual program. So let's just wait till it's uh, generated. And this may take a couple of minutes, uh, depending on the number of scans that you have. But um, we'll wait a couple of minutes and uh, I'll show you how to actually make that uh, project. All right, now that this is created, you don't really get any kind of feedback, uh, except the fact that there now is an upload to web share projects or upload uh, project point cloud. And frequently uh, customers or users don't have access to their web share because it is a, it used to be a paid subscription. Now with um, uh, Ferrosphere, there's actually a way to use this, but that's for a different video. Um, but right now uh, what you can do is you can go into your apps, and upon installation, when you're installing Scene, there's, a, mm, there's an app that can, doesn't have to be installed, but I have it installed and it comes bundled with the actual installer. And the bundling uh, app that we're talking about is Scene2Go. Scene2Go um, can automatically create this uh, environment that we just uh, did through the actual um, user interface already, or so hitting this button, I won't because it's the same. You'll see that this is the same page that we um, or window open as we had before. So I don't need to do this again. I'll hit the transfer scene to go data. And what it'll ask you, select the destination folder for your scene to go project. So what I'll do is I'll actually create a uh, folder on my D drive. And I don't have one. So we'll say new. We'll call it web share to go or scene to go, doesn't matter what the name is, but highlight it, and your data will then go into this folder. M needless to say, you can make this on your network drive or something, something that's accessible uh, by anybody in the company. So say copy all the linked items, okay, transfer. So what happens over here now is what we created in the background earlier gets copied into this um, folder. And this folder will have its own executable to open by anybody who has access to this folder. So we'll say, I will ignore this. It says that it was 1.6 gigabytes. Uh, oh no, remaining free space. Oh, sorry, I'm reading it wrong. But yeah, we have enough capacity over here. So when I open up my folder as a regular, um, in a regular file explorer, uh, you'll have web share to go at the bottom. So I'm in my D drive, go over here, depending on the, uh, type of computer that you're actually running there's two executables one for a mac one for windows so what i'll do is i'll double click and what it'll do is it actually opens up first time it opens up it always asks for a firewall exception over here so we'll say sure allow but it opens up its own browser and this browser will have that project so mind you we're looking at this project obviously you see this is my my thumbnail over here it's the same thumbnail over here i can click it and in this view, I can go in here and actually view in 3D uh, of uh, whatever we're actually trying to actually scan. I can also uh, view this in multiple colors. I can jump into 3D and this is all in 
uh, a browser at this moment. So you don't need any kind of fancy software for this to actually run. It's not as powerful as the web-based uh, web share um, what application, but it still lets you, you know, take some measurements if I need to know the height of that column, for example. I'm not very precise there, but hey, that's about 11 feet. Uh, this is all it can actually do. It's really useful, especially to for people who have no access to, you know, uh, three-dimensional data and software that comes with it. So if I jump over here, for example, we'll go here. That's that's also over here. If I go back into 3D again, you can, you know, roam around the three-dimensional space. And mind you, again, if I close this, you close the actual window. Uh, ro reopening just by hitting the little Windows uh, executable or the Mac executable, depending on who's viewing that folder. So this folder can be loaded on a shared drive on your network. Um, if you have any questions or comments, if you have any questions or comments, uh, leave them below.